We'll be at that event again this year. Very excited for that. Well, state leaders in North and South Carolina are fighting back against robocalls. And 7 News' Kristen Cheatham spoke with state officials on how to lessen your chances of receiving them. Attorney General Alan Wilson wrote the Federal Communications Commission in support of their efforts in reducing the amount of illegal robocallers access to legitimate phone numbers. According to the Federal Communications Commission, Americans received nearly 4 billion robocalls per month in 2020. Many people who answered the calls became victims of identity theft or were scammed out of large amounts of money. The South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs says they understand the frustrations these robocallers can cause to consumers. Everybody wants their phone to stop ringing. Everybody wants, you know, wants these scam phone calls to stop. Earlier this year, legislation was passed to require phone carriers to implement caller ID technology to stop robocallers from spoofing phone numbers. This dropped robocalls by 29%, but now they're finding ways around this. No matter how much technology is developed, or how many laws are put into place, uh, you know, we can try and lessen the amount of robocalls, but it, it's really virtually impossible to block every robocall. A reason why Attorney General Alan Wilson, along with several other people, are supporting new legislation to require phone companies that request direct access to phone numbers to verify their customer's identity to help prevent these numbers from being sold to robocallers. But in the meantime, the Department of Consumer Affairs says you can add your phone number to the Do Not Call Registry or simply do not answer the phone for unknown numbers. If, if it's a number you do not recognize, you don't pick up. Because if you don't recognize the number and you pick up that phone and it's a robocaller, a, a, a criminal robocaller, that is going to then send a message to them of this is an active phone number. I'm going to keep calling this number back. Now, the Department of Consumer Affairs says if you think you've given out your personal information to a robocaller who's a scammer over the phone, be sure to check your credit report frequently for signs of identity theft and give their office a call. In Spartanburg, Kristen Cheatham, 7 News. Well, today we are